good morning everybody welcome back to my motor vlog this is my last motor vlog of 2023 I actually did a little short video this morning just a little 60 second 30 second one of those little shorts for YouTube and for Instagram and I said in that video that was my last video of the year but actually this motor vlog will be my last one of the year and want to welcome all of you I'm testing out a new mount for this GoPro let's see if I can get it kind of where I want it it's a little bit cockeyed maybe maybe about there would be better welcome to cruise man's motor vlogs if you haven't been here before we are all about everything motorcycling if you're passionate about motorcycles anything on two or three wheels I consider that a motorcycle I left out the three wheels on my last crown and comments and I got some people a little concerned thought I didn't like trikes or something but not I'll consider that part of the part of the family two three anything less than four wheels how's that so welcome if you haven't done so already I would request as passionately as I can that you take a second and click that little subscribe button right down below don't forget the notification bell that way YouTube will let you know when we come out with new videos I would much appreciate it I am still struggling believe it or not to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 I can't believe it it's like views and subscriptions just really dropped in the tank in December for some reason so it's gonna be tight uh, I think I checked it this morning and it was at about 28 I'm sorry uh, 49,000 850 something like that so I still need like hundred and fifty new subscribers and I've only got three days left okay so enough of my begging if you do subscribe I would appreciate it I uh, recently we got home just a couple of weeks ago from Antarctica and I just completed the editing of my Antarctica video so if you're interested in that check it out on my cruise report channel uh, I think I mentioned in my last video that I shipped off the 2022 the blue Honda Goldwing and uh, I forgot to mention that before I sent it off I you know me I'm kind of uh, obsessive compulsive about paint jobs and the paint and there were some a little marring on the paint obviously I had to get out my polisher and all of my gear and uh, buff do my best to buff out some of those scratches and those mars uh, before I sent the bike back to Honda I always I always want to send the bike back to the company uh, at least as good maybe better than when it arrived here and then uh, about I don't know eight or nine days ago right before this cold front hit here in Dallas Fort Worth uh, I, Don uh, my friend Don drove me over to Plano about 20 miles from here to pick up a motorcycle to review which uh, is a Triumph Rocket 3 a 2023 tw Triumph Rocket 3 and I had to ride the bike back to my house it was 40 degrees the day I rode it back and it's only gotten colder since then it was pretty cold riding back home but I had you know all my gear on my liner and my jacket and I had some long underwear underneath my shirt and a long sleeve shirt so I was pretty warm actually I was okay comfortable the only thing that really got cold on me was my hands my hands got cold and I'm not sure if this rocket 3 has uh, heated hand grips I haven't looked I, it probably does it's not a cheap motorcycle isn't it is pretty expensive bike I'll check it and see I haven't really gone through the menus yet and checked everything I have not started the review because the day after I got it home it was 
you know like in the 20s like 20 degrees and something so I have not ridden the bike since I brought it home I brought it home stuck it in the garage and it's been sitting there for the you know the last eight or seven eight nine days whatever it's been since this uh, cold front came through and today is the first day it really it, it was nice yesterday it was warm but it was very very windy like 40 mile an hour winds and when I picked up the motorcycle the Triumph at European uh, I believe it's European cycle there in Plano it's either European cycle or European power sports or motorsports very nice guys over there they got the bike all prepped for me and uh, the bikes not brand new it has about 2,000 miles on it and it was pretty dirty it was kind of dusty and dirty so you know me I gotta wash it that before I'm gonna do a review I'm gonna clean up the bike make it look nice so that's one of the things I plan to do today is to uh, uh, get all the stuff out to kind of go over the bike and make it look nice for the review I'm gonna I'm pulling into McDonald's now I'm gonna pick up uh, some breakfast for Ricky getting her a biscuit if they don't come on this speaker pretty so I can't hear it if they're calling I guess I just have to go to the drive through window. I can't hear. I know I've done it before, a lot of times. So I don't know how this works now. I, I, I couldn't hear the girl at the speaker asking for my order. I've done this before. It's not like it's the first time I've come up here on my motorcycle. So normally they come on and take my order. No, actually I didn't get to place my order. Okay, what can I get for you? I just need a bacon, egg and cheese biscuit. Thank you. So I just, uh, hopefully I'll be able to put this in my jacket. Hello, yes, thank you. And it usually stays pretty warm. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on. I know the guy behind me is probably worked up, but that's okay, he can wait. Okay, let's go. So 2023 is, uh, two or three days away. I will tell you one story about Southwest Airlines. A lot of you, have, I'm sure, have heard the news about all the flights being canceled. And actually, I'm supposed to be in Midland right now. I was scheduled to fly to Midland a couple days ago, uh, the day after Christmas, actually. And I spent uh, four or five hours at uh, Love Field and my flight ended up getting canceled. They kept delaying it, saying they were waiting for flight attendants to show up. And of course they never did. Uh, I was there for almost five hours and I only saw three planes take off the whole time. So I was in the middle of that Southwest Airlines debacle, which was uh, disappointing because I, you know, I was trying to get to out there to see my brother for the holidays. And when I got home, I, I went ahead and rebooked my flight through their app. I went ahead and rebooked for the following day, uh, which was Tuesday. And by the time I got home, they had already canceled the flight for Tuesday. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and rebook for a week later. And, and Southwest, to their credit, uh, they were offering the opportunity to rebook uh, the same flight, same destination, with no change in price uh, for up to 30 days. I think it's up to 30 days, but I went ahead and rebooked for next week. And I'm glad I did because all the flights yesterday were canceled, and I think all the flights today are canceled. And I know now the federal government's trying to get involved in this and saying that Southwest needs to compensate passengers and you know I'll tell you my thoughts on it I have always been a really big fan of Southwest Airlines uh, they've just always been good to deal with I think they treat their customers much more fairly than the other airlines uh, I don't want any compensation from Southwest now if if I can't go next week uh, the weather looks like it's going to be pretty good. I may actually end up just riding the motorcycle. And if I do, yeah, I'd like to have my money back. But other than that, uh, don't, I don't expect any compensation. It's just, it's just part of the deal. It's just 
unintended consequences of I guess they're switching over to some new software or something not sure what the problem is nobody seems to really know uh, I know one thing I don't expect the federal government to solve it I wasn't happy about spending five hours at the airport and not getting to go in fact that's the first time I think I have ever in what 50 50 years of traveling or at least I don't think I've ever I've had flights canceled, but I've never had a situation like that where I didn't end up getting to my destination within at least a day of when I planned to. So, 2023, what can you look forward to? Well, we did a lot of motor vlogs last year in 2022. I think the first one of the first videos I'll do would be a recap of what we did in 2022. And uh, I think we did 37 motor vlogs. And of course lots of review videos and i'm gonna i'm setting some new objectives and new goals for 2023 you're gonna see a few changes i'm changing up the studio for one thing i get tons of requests from these companies that have all kinds of products that they want me to review and to do a video for them and honestly it just takes too much time and the and the payoff is minimal you know, there's really very little reward you know what they really want to do most of the time these companies they want they want a free video and they want me to take the time to produce a video to help them sell their product if I find a problem with a product I'm gonna let you know about it that's what happened with the uh, the last little camera system that I reviewed the Acaso v50 Pro you know, I had uh, some issues with it, and I told you what the issues were. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about Acaso wanting to send me any more cameras to review, by the way. I have to shoot the video. I have to test the product. I have to unbox the product. That takes up studio time. I have to edit the video. That takes time. I'm planning to... I've already ordered the larger trunk kit for this 2018. I've decided until I can find a 2022 in the color that I want, I'm going to go ahead and install that larger trunk on this motorcycle. And I will be doing a video series to show you how I go through that process. So if you're interested in that, if you have a 2018 to 2020 and you want to put on a larger trunk, you might find that interesting so hopefully that will be in next week and I can get started I still have to get it painted obviously because they don't sell the trunk kit in white but I will be getting it painted I'll be talking about that whole process and how that goes so anyway I want to thank you for joining me today I'm back home obviously if you liked this video Please give it a thumbs up. Much appreciated. I look forward to everything we got going on in 2023. And don't, don't forget what I always say. It doesn't matter what you ride. Ride often and ride safe. I'll see you soon.